good morning and welcome to the next phase of this bookshelf makeover. I am knee deep in sanding so that I can get started on painting soon. Um, I went through and filled all the holes with wood filler and then caulked all the seams and you know what? I think it's looking pretty good, but I think as far as the caulking goes, I'm gonna do that after I put on the first coat of primer as well. Right now I just wanna kinda of stand it smooth, as smooth as possible, so that way we can get ready to paint. So while I'm sanding, I am noticing some spots that I have to go back over with wood filler. Here as well is a big spot that I really needed to fill quite a lot. It was actually basically just a hole. So that one's almost there. And then I also noticed some places down here that I needed to put some more um, liquid nails on so to keep this trim from going away. As you can see, there's a bit of a gap right here. So once the liquid nails dries, I can get back at it with a little bit more caulking and then um, hopefully, we will be, we will get to priming today. You could still fill holes and stuff after you prime. In fact, sometimes it's a little bit easier to do that, but um, like you don't wanna do the big stuff like that, at least not for me. Also, I'm not really going to be caulking these seams. I know that's kinda like, Oh, it won't look so built in or whatever, but this is gonna be a dark color. So I'm thinking I could get away with it. <laughs> uh, plus, these shelves are functional bookshelves. So you ain't gonna see it that much. At least I'm hoping. So I'm out of this. That's why that decision was made. <laughs> and I really don't wanna go back to Lowe's again right now. <laughs> like, at least not right now. I'll have to go, but maybe I can wait till tomorrow to do that. But for today, this is what's happening. Also, I have to show you this. I have to duck down because my like tripod is not tall enough and I'm too tall. I have never in all of my projects that I've ever done hit pan on the wood filler, like ever. Usually I'll use a little bit, put it back in the garage, seal it up. And then when I go to use it again, it's dried out. But this one, and I still have some small spots to like touch up. So I'm pretty sure this is gonna go straight in the garbage when I'm done. And that somehow makes me really happy that I didn't waste it. Like, it makes me happy. <sighs> yes, I should be wearing a mask, but I don't have any. I don't have any. I have kids ones and they don't necessarily fit. So I got the fan on the door open. So whew, time to clean up. I think I've got everything sanded. I do want to fix a couple areas. We're almost there. My animals are apparently very used to my antics because while I'm sanding and have all the loud noises in here, this one hasn't moved and this one is sleeping. So they're very, they're very, very used to all the power tools apparently. Huh? Oh baby. Yes, you are. Okay. I think I'm finally ready to prime. I'm gonna give this a good shake cause it's been sitting for several days. The primer that I'm using is this Zinsser Bullseye 123. It's really important that you get the one that says it's for all surfaces. Okay, 
Looking back at this project, I honestly would go with the shellac primer after this. This didn't do a bad job, but I just think shellac would have been better. The time has come to prime! Shake, shake, shake. how much this primer stinks. primer on and I don't know that I'll need a second one there of course are areas that I missed um, filling holes so I'll have to touch those up a little bit with the primer again but overall like I'm looking I'm loving it um, these shapes these ovals are not perfect they are not perfect so I love the organic ovals. <laughs> I'm like really enjoying it. And my husband who's the perfectionist is like, I'm just waiting for him to come up here and go like this. Hmm. Like he's gonna find all the little imperfections for me and tell me to fix them, but I'm not gonna fix them. I'm, I'm gonna do the ones I feel like fixing. <laughs> And then I'll just listen to him complain for the rest of my life. Or his, depending on how much he complains. Today's the day. Let's open the paint. I just got back from Lowe's. This paint color is called Fired Earth. Definitely gonna need several coats. Taking a lunch break, um, which also will include my daily Diet Coke. <laughs> yes, I have, I have a problem. But that problem is not Diet Coke. The problem is that I want one every day. Um, first coat is on those two. I've got these two to go. Uh, first coat is going well. I'm trying to do very thin first coat. I will sand in between coats um, just to make sure things are really smooth. I am kind of like, I didn't go for the cabinet paint. I just went with the Valspar signature paint. I'm kind of wishing that I did spring for the cabinet paint. The cabinet paint is so nice. It dries really hard. It's an oil-based paint. It doesn't smell. Um, I just didn't want to pay the extra money for it. And I didn't think I needed it because I did prime it really well. Um, do I think it would look better with a cabinet paint? Mm, 
probably not. I just like that paint quite a lot. I have some that I used for my cabinets in the bathroom that I really loved. Um, but that's okay. We're going to go with this paint. Sounds like my sister's here. She's going to help me a little bit paint these last two. This is too funny. I have to show you. I'm sanding in between coats, right? So trying to get things very smooth, but I missed a shelf. So I sanded here and I primed the edge, but I apparently forgot to roll the middle. So this is why you should always prime melamine or any Ikea furniture, but just don't forget a space because otherwise you have to do it again. <laughs> I'm just sitting here in this chair painting the lower shelves and I'm painting the second coat and like, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I love it. Like, I absolutely love it. And it's just making me so happy. <sighs> I cannot wait till this is done. My house is a freaking mess. Can you see all this? Can you see all this mess? I mean, it's, it's absolute chaos. My family keeps going, when is the living room gonna be put back together? And I was like, I don't know, hopefully. <laughs> so hopefully soon. I love kids. My son just came in here and said, why are you painting that black? It doesn't look good. <laughs> Go back to your room. <laughs> so I've already started, but today is the last day of painting. I'm so excited. I already have some drips. Oops, oops, I'm making that worse. Oops. Um, This color is called crisp cotton. So it's white, but it's you know, off-white, so um, it should make the black really pop, which I'm hoping for. My tape here is just not even staying. Like, that is so frustrating. The black is looking good. There are a few spots I gotta touch up, but I don't think I'm gonna do, like, a full third coat. So, I'm gonna get to painting, and let's finish this project. It's done! done it's done oh uh, i am just touching up a few spots with the white but i'm so excited about this okay time to step away and let's let it dry okay it's noisy in my house but i'm ready to put the books back let's just get started because i'm too excited So this is where we're at right now. I think I've got the sections done, but I don't know the placement of them, I don't know. But I'm basically gonna have sci-fi here, contemporary still down there, romance, fantasy romance, um, my YA shelves basically. Yeah, all of those are YA. I have some YA over here. I'm struggling with whether they should go over there or not. Maybe I can put them up there. Um, actually, I have some more YA there too. Oh my gosh, this doesn't make sense. Okay, 
to figure this out because I have one shelf of adult fantasy. No, two shelves of adult fantasy. Maybe I should swap it and put the adult over here. I mean, I do like those books better. <laughs> and keep this as the YA section on the side since I don't read them as much. And then down here I have, these books are too heavy. I'm gonna keep them on the bottom. And then like my horror thriller section I have very few books. Um, the cats are right here, so <sighs> I didn't wanna put too many books there. Okay, I think I have all the books where I want them to be. Now we're gonna turn them around and we're gonna start decorating with the decor I have. bought this specifically for my new shelves but it keeps falling over still love it Okay, it's been a few days for me, but I'm ready to show you guys. It's all done. Well, I will say 90, 95% done. Okay, there are some things that are missing, but that's okay. That's okay. It will get there. But I'm so excited about them. I love them. Let me show you just a very brief <laughs> picture of what they look like before. I mean, they were fine, but I wanted to make this substantial, and I think I did this. And, okay, are you guys ready? I know I am. In three, two, one. I can't tell you how much I love them. Like, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with them. Um, this turned out better. <laughs> better than I thought I could make it. Like, there are definitely little things that could be improved, but like, overall, I freaking love it. 
good. And look, my little DIYs, like they were like, they look good on here. They look good on here. Um, what I'm missing from these shelves is obviously the plants in the three um, right here. <laughs> I'm kind of like looking for specific plants. I thought at first I wanted to have my hanging, um, like vining plants in those little buckets. But I think when you sit on the couch, it might be a little, just a little bit annoying once they get longer. So I'm actually looking for more of like a bushier succulent. So those are like the things that I'm looking for most. I did kind of, I have been doing a little tweaking here and there with the books. Um, I still have four empty shelves at least behind me that I can put stuff on. And if I really needed space, the shelves behind the couch that I'm using as like storage um, could definitely be turned into book space, but I don't need those right now. I probably won't for a while because I really don't buy like a ton of books, but I can now. <laughs> I have the room. Um, this project, um, honestly, has been so fun it's been so good for my mental health i don't know if you can tell but like i feel really good like honestly it has made me feel really good i love building i love working with my hands i love creating and um this has really been good for my brain as well as just my body uh, my shoulder does really hurt still it's been about a week and a half <laughs> my shoulder still hurts let me show you some of my favorite things, including my plants, because I'm obsessed with my succulents that I have, but I need more. Let me show you just at least one. This girl right here, I do not have appropriate pot for her just yet, but this one here is called a mermaid tail, and I bought it at a plant show that we went to um, like a few weeks ago, and I absolutely love her. She does like sun, okay? She does like sun, so I don't always have her up here. Sometimes I have her in my window. Um, but, you know, for now, she lives up there. She lives on my shelf, and I, and I just freaking love her, okay? I love her. Another thing, like, I'm just kind of obsessed with is I found this on, like, Sheen when I was doing an order for my daughter. It's a little mantis love it <laughs> and then my diys that you can see behind me like they all like they all look good from afar <laughs> that's what matters anyways i'm gonna wrap this up i like i don't know about you but i'm obsessed with my shelves and this is like every time i walk in the living room in the morning i'm like is that my house is that my house <laughs> Let me know if you think even I should change some things around because I'm definitely not a decorator and I could use some like help in that area. But for now, this is how they are. I'm gonna leave you here and you will be seeing a lot of these shelves in my videos moving forward because I think this is an awesome filming background now too. So anyways, I hope you liked this video. <laughs> leave it a thumbs up share it if you can this project actually took me a solid week and then a few days of waiting and then a whole day of decorating so i can't believe it it didn't take me months because <laughs> that's how usually my projects are but anyways thank you for joining me today and on this whole trip and as always have a wonderful day and i'll see you next time bye